All right, guys, ready to see my new house? Yeah, it better be good. You tracked us all the way out here to see it. It is, and here we are. You guys can look up. Uh, this is what you were hyping up? And, what, what are you talking about? Okay, Dash, I'm not going to lie. This just looks like a box. Yeah, wait, does it look good on the inside at least? And, uh, no. Uh, yeah, I've got furniture and stuff. What are you talking about? Uh, dude, are you serious? This looks like it was decorated by a five-year-old. Uh, no, it doesn't. All right, well, can we check out the second floor? And, uh, yeah, everyone follow me. The second floor is a lot nicer, okay? Oh, my God, dude, this is just bad. Yeah, <laughs> why is there just a toilet out in the open? And guys, it's really not that bad. Come on. And uh, Oh, wait, did you see that? See what, the toilet? Uh, no, 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 not that. I think I just saw someone outside the house. Are you just trying to distract us from your house? No, guys, I'm not. And oh, wait, guys, look, there's someone outside. Uh, wait, it looks like some guy, and he's heading to that house over there. Uh, wait, is this my neighbor? What's he doing spying on us? Wait, why does this house look so abandoned? Wait, we should go check it out. Uh, uh, no, 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 guys, I don't think that's a good idea. I just moved into this place. I don't want to get in trouble with my neighbors. Oh, come on, don't be a baby. Uh, come on, it's just you two living out here. And uh, No, guys, I really don't think this is a good idea. I'm not sure if I'm ready to meet my neighbors yet. I bet he's old and old people are nice. Come on. No, guys, I don't think he's old and nice. He's probably like old and scary. Uh, no, you don't know that. You've got to meet him first. And, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I really don't think there's a good idea. Let's just go back to my house. Besides, you're the only two out here. You're going to have to meet him anyways. Uh, knock. Hello. A creepy guy. Are you there? Ding, dong, ding, dong. Gosh, you guys are knocking on the door. Fine. I, I guess we can say hi. Uh, I'm just going to invite myself in. Uh, hello. And, no, Kim, what are you doing? We can't just break into his house. It's not breaking into that. He has holes in his windows. Plus, he was spying on us earlier. And, oh, gosh. Okay, well, uh, this is his house. I guess we took a look. Uh, we should probably just go back now. It looks pretty creepy here. Uh, no, we're not going back now. We've got to figure out what's going on here. And, oh, my gosh. You're going upstairs? Uh, yeah, that's probably where he is. Uh, hello? Do you see anything up there? Hey. Oh, gosh. Wait, this literally looks like a haunted house, guys. Uh, I think we should just go back to my house. Everything's so abandoned. Uh, how does he live here? Oh, wait. Look, there's a room. And, oh, gosh. Uh, it is probably his bedroom. Uh, guys, we're going to see him any second. Now we should probably just get out of here before he sees us and kicks us out. Hello? Oh my gosh, guys, come on, let's just go back. Uh, come on, there has to be more to this house. Uh, then, oh, look, there's a ladder to the attic. Oh my gosh, you guys really want to go to the attic? This ladder literally looks broken. Um, it'll be fine. Just be careful, I guess. Oh my gosh, we're really going up to this random guy's attic and uh, um, guys, I think we should get out of here. And, oh gosh, he's chasing us! Run, run, run! Oh, he's mad. Uh oh, uh oh. Go, go, go! I told you guys this is a bad idea. Why does his face look like that? We gotta go. Oh my gosh, run, run, run. Come on, go, go, go. Ruby, get out of there! Wait, you guys are leaving me behind. Stop! Pick up your tiny legs and run! Oh my gosh, guys, I told you we shouldn't have went in there. That guy is so creepy. And oh gosh, wait, is he gonna come after us? And wait, he just shut his doors. Wait, guys, I think that was weird, strict dad. Dash, you need to move right now. Uh, uh, no, I just built this house. I don't want to move. Uh, come on, the house isn't that good. And plus, uh, th this neighborhood is not the best. You got to pack it up and move. And, no, guys, come on. I'm sure we could just live next to each other. Uh, maybe if I just wait a few days, he won't be as mad at us anymore. Uh, no, he seems like the type to hold a grudge. I mean, uh, look at how old that house is. Dash, you are not safer. We have to move. And, okay, well, if you guys want to get out of here, then you guys can just go back to your own houses. I'm staying in this house. Well, are you kidding me? You dragged us all the way out here. And plus, my house is like a thousand blocks away. Oh, gosh, that means we're probably going to have to spend the night here. What? No way. I'm not gonna stay in a house like this. We have to upgrade this if I'm gonna stay here. And wait, what? Upgrade? <gasps> wait, that actually could be a good idea. Maybe we can build some upgrades around our house so that guy can't break in and spy on us anymore. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, what should the first upgrade be? First of all, we cannot live in a box. We have to make this place a lot spiffier. Uh, yeah, we definitely gotta make this house look so much better. And, oh, uh, alright. I guess we can do that first. So, here, let's grab some of these logs and let's just place it all around the house. This should look pretty good. Ooh, this looks better already. And honestly, I don't see the difference. It looked just fine before, but uh, I guess we can, like, put some more wood everywhere. This is looking pretty fancy. Yeah, this looks so much better, and uh, we've definitely got to change up the inside here. And what? What was wrong with the inside? It looked just fine before. Uh, it's too boring, and plus, like, it, it's all too spaced apart. Yeah, I hate the organization of everything. And, uh, okay, I guess we can put everything a bit closer if you say so. Let me grab some beds, and uh, here, we can just have some beds over here, and ooh, we can have another one over here. This could look pretty good. Yeah, see, this is already looking so much better with just a little bit more work. Yep, just a little bit of that and a little bit of this. And, oh, all right. Uh, I guess this looks a little bit nicer. But, guys, we gotta start building some upgrades on the outside of the house because we cannot let Weird Strict Dad break in. That would be very bad. Yeah, but... 
what should we do? Like a, a giant like wall? Ooh, ooh, I know. We can do a lava wall. And, whoa, yeah, guys. What if we build a lava wall around the entire house and we can use like dispensers and stuff to make it so that we can open and close it. So here, let's grab some dispensers. Oh yeah, this is going to look awesome. I'll get started on the moat. Yeah, keep the moat far away from the house. I don't want it to burn. And yeah, you're right. We got to make sure to keep it super far from the house. But here, we just got to put all of these dispensers on top of the moat that Cam is building so that all of the lava flows nicely inside. This should look pretty good. I wouldn't say building more like digging. Oh, I'll start putting lava in all the dispensers. And all right, all right, sounds good. And this should be pretty sick. We can like activate it from inside of the house to open and close the lava wall. This is gonna be awesome. And there we go, the moat is dug out and now it's time to start putting these dispensers everywhere. And yeah, guys, here we just have to have these dispensers go all the way around the house. And wait, what are we doing doing this by hand? What we can do is grab a wand. So let's just run the command slash slash wand and then we can select this right over here and run the command slash slash stack up 30. Yeah, boom, there we go. That is looking awesome. Uh, dude, I already beat you to that. Wait, 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 guys, we're on a team. Don't fight. And yeah, here, it's fine. What we need to do next is put some blocks on top of all of these dispensers. So here, what we can do is just select this corner over here with the wand and also go over here and select this corner right over here. And then we can just run the command slash slash walls stone. Boom, there we go. And okay, now we also have to run one more command. We have to go all the way up over here, one layer above the stone. And now what we can do is activate the dispensers and look at that. All of the lava will start flowing. But uh, wait. Whoa. We need to have some repeaters so that the redstone signal flows in. Oh, gosh, I came. I don't think your moat was big enough. There's lava flowing out. Oh, no, don't worry. It's not even flowing that bad. It's actually staying in there. And oh, yeah, I guess that's actually not a problem. All right, but anyways, what we need to do now is use some repeaters and have them go all the way around the entire uh, dispenser thingy so that all of the dispensers get powered. All right. Oh, there's no lava buckets over here. I have to put these in. And oh, yeah, yeah. Make sure all the dispensers have lava buckets. But anyways, I think that should be everything now. And there we go. Check it out. All of the lava is activated, except for these ones over here. We got to put some lava buckets in here. And, uh, we should probably decorate this uh, instead of stone. We should probably make it look a little bit nicer. And ooh, all right, all right. You can be in charge of that here. I'll just help Ruby fill up all of these dispensers with some lava buckets for now. This should look sick once it's done. Oh, yeah, no problem. We just replace stone with magma. There we go. Check that out. And ooh, okay. That's looking pretty nice. And boom, there we go. They are all now filled up with some lava buckets. So what we need to do now is just flick the lever one more time and there we go check it out all of them are flowing now this is awesome and oh wait hold on some of them are like not flowing anymore wait what's going on i don't know this one has a lava bucket in it and wait why do some of them have lava buckets but then some of them don't okay hold on this is very confusing uh, let's just slash slash drain all of this lava really quick slash slash drain 50 boom there we go and here let's just refill all the dispensers with some lava buckets so let me just select this one and let me run the command slash slash stack up 50 is that enough and oh the way i think that was a little bit too much here we can just break this over here boom and now they should all be filled up with lava on this side uh, i get the ones over here and oh you do nice all right well anyways i think they're all filled up now so here should we flick the lever again uh, let's actually do a double check and oh nope these up here at the front aren't all right and there we go everything should be ready for a test run all right here let me try it out and oh that is looking awesome but wait guys i have an idea we should probably build like a little platform area up here where we could like uh, you know go up and stand that could be pretty cool oh yeah like a little archery tower yeah yeah exactly this could be super clutch let's just have this go all the way around the wall and this way we can see when weird strict dad is like trying to pull up to the base that sounds good i'm gonna work on the front side awesome sounds good here i'll work on this side and let me just select this with my wand and go all the way over here and let me run the command slash slash set stone boom there we go this is super quick since we have magic wands yeah but i beat you boom slash slash stone slash slash set stone i did it too awesome this is looking sick so far but here we should also make this look a little bit nicer let's grab some of these cobblestone walls and let's just go and put these all around the entire pathway wait, wait cobblestone uh, what are we cavemen no let's actually make it look nice look at these Ooh, okay okay that's actually looking sick all right this is gonna fit the theme of like fire and magma so much better so yeah let's just put these all around the entire pathway and there we go boom that is looking good um, guys this looks really nice and all but we don't have a ladder to get up here and oh oh yeah you're right we should probably add something like that let me grab a ladder and uh here we can just have one ladder over here in the front yeah this could be cool we can just have it like right in front of the door over here so boom there we we go and nice that is looking sick but anyways now that we got this wall done uh, what do we build next well now that we have good defense we need to start working on our offense uh, what about like some tnt cannons and whoa tnt cannons okay that could be a banger idea and wait 
what we can do is just build them over here on the roof. So, uh, here, let me grab some smooth stone. And why don't we just build one TNT cannon right over here? Ooh, okay, this can be our prototype. Yeah, yeah, here, let's just build one right over here. And let's grab some TNT. And uh, Why are you making it so long? Oh, well, we gotta make it long so that, you know, it goes super far, right? I, I guess we can make it longer. Yeah, this house is super far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need as many dispensers here as we can get. We need this TNT to go super far. And we need this cannon to be super powerful. So, the next thing we need to do is grab a ladder. And let's just put that down right over here like that. Boom. And okay, I think this TNT cannon should be ready. Let me just grab a button and put that down right over here. Wait, we need water, of course. And oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. Water. That's like the most important part. But wait, hold on. Are all these dispensers filled with TNT? And oh, no, they're filled with lava. We should probably change that. Ooh, is it done? Can I hit the button? And uh, the way I think it's almost done. Let's just replace all of these dispensers with some TNT. There we go. One final check. And uh, yep, that's everything. And all right. Yeah, I think it should be ready. Ruby, you can hit the button whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm gonna hit the button now. All right, here we go. Hopefully, this doesn't blow up my beautiful house that I spent so much time on. And whoa! Okay, uh, oh, that was kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, that was insane! Whoa! But wait, guys, I think that went a little bit too high. Uh, maybe what we should do is just uh, get rid of a few of these dispensers. Maybe we had a little bit too many. Yeah, let's get rid of these three. Uh, there we go. That should be enough. And okay, now we only have three dispensers here. Let's try this out. Let me hit the button again. And here we go. Let's see if we can hit Weird Trick Dad's house this time. Here we go. And whoa! Okay, that that was kind of good. It kind of blew up in the air, though. It didn't really go far enough. Well, it is going pretty high. What if we add, like, a little roof to it so it doesn't go as high? And, oh, oh yeah, so that it, like, ricochets up, hits this block, and then goes down. Yeah, that could be pretty good. Uh, although, wait, this is kind of sketchy. It might blow up down here. Should we try it out, though? Uh, yeah, I'll try it out. I'll, I'll be our guard. I'll have the water bucket ready. And, oh, yeah, yeah, be ready. Be prepared. All right, well, uh, Ruby, do you want to hit the button? I want to hit the button. And all right, all right, here we go. Hopefully this doesn't blow up our house. This would be really bad if it does. So here we go. And oh my gosh, guys, that worked literally perfectly. Oh, it's in a perfect spot too. Yeah, but it didn't really go that far. I think we need one more TNT dispenser. And then we have the perfect amount of power. And okay, one more TNT dispenser, if you say so. And okay, now we've got four dispensers here. Uh, let's hit the button. Please do not blow up our house. Hopefully this all goes well. So here we go. And oh my gosh, that is perfect. Oh my gosh, that was legitimately perfect. Woo! But wait, 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 guys, what we could do now, instead of just having one TNT cannon, why don't we go over here and just uh, select this, and let's also go in this corner and select this. <gasps> I like your style. And then what we can do is just run the command slash slash stack up five, and boom, there we go. Now we've got five TNT cannons, although this one's kind of like going off the house a little bit. Uh, it's fine. We can just uh, leave that there. Oh, this looks crazy. Yep. And here, what we can do is grab a button and just put it over here in the middle, and oh, wait, I see you already connected all of them, Kim. Yep, they're all ready. Oh, this is going to be crazy. And all right, all right. Well, here, let's just put the button down here and now they're all connected. Whenever we hit this button, they should all go off at once. So uh, who wants to do the honors? I think Cam should. Uh, okay. Uh, make sure to get ready with the water bucket. We do not want this blowing up our wall. And yeah, yeah, Ruby, you're on water uh, control. If any TNT goes wrong, make sure to put down a water bucket. But yeah, I think we should be ready. All right, at three, two, one, here we go. And, oh gosh, that looks very scary. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Please work, please work. And oh, Oh my gosh, that is awesome! Oh my gosh, that was insane! And wait a minute, if we could go horizontal, does that mean we could go vertical? And wait, 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 you mean like stacking them on top of each other? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's go over here and select this position. And I'm already on oh, it. You already got it selected. All right, let's see this and... Oh, well, that's so my many. gosh. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, hold on. It looks like the water is spilling down, though. So what we need to do is just put these blocks underneath it so that the water doesn't spill. And then I think this should work. But wait, how are we going to make them all go off at once? And oh, wait, actually, that is a good question. I guess what we could do is use some observers. So let me grab some observers. Uh, be very careful because I do not want an accidental detonation of this thing. Oh, yeah, of course. And pretty much what we can do with these observers is just put them down over here like this. Let me break these redstone before I put the observers down because uh, we do not want this to blow up before we're ready. So let's just put down all of these observers over here like uh, this. There we go. And then what we can do is just move the button over here. So let me grab a button. Or wait, actually a lever, I mean. And then we can just put down the lever over here like that. Boom. And okay, now what we need to do is just connect the redstone. And there we go. I think it should be ready to be fired. I'm so so excited. All right, well, here we go. Test fired. Please don't blow everything up. And here we go. Here we go. And oh, uh, guys, it looks like it's working. Here we go. Whoa, the TNT just got activated. And oh my gosh, that is awesome. That is 
crazy! I could watch it all day! Wow, okay, that is actually working a lot better than I thought it would, but, uh, wait, hold on. I just realized something. How are we supposed to actually get inside of the house if we have this big lava wall? Oh, wait, that's a good question. I don't know. I wish there was a way we could jump over it. And wait a minute. Actually, hold on. That gives me an idea. What if we solve this problem with some TNT? Because TNT solves, like, all problems in life. Wait, how do you plan to do that? Guys, hear me out. What we could do is build, like, another TNT cannon on the outside of our base. We can build it, like, behind the base over here. And instead of shooting TNT, it could shoot us inside of the house. Wait, won't that hurt us? And no, no, no. It should be fine. We'll be, like, inside of water. And, you know, since water gets rid of TNT damage, it should work. So here, what we need is to just have some dispensers over here, like, like this. Check it out. It's gonna be sick. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, all right. And here, yeah, yeah, what we need to do is just put these redstone on top of all of these dispensers. It's kind of just like a normal TNT cannon, except like round and a circle. So the next thing we need to do is grab a button and put that down right over here. Boom. There we go. And then also some water. I'm already on it. There we go. And a slab. And oh, nice. Let's just put this water all the way around here. And then we can put the slab in the middle. And guys, check this out. Pretty much whenever we hit the button now, it'll activate all this TNT. And then check it out. It's gonna launch me all the way in the sky let's go whoa okay i went way too high whoa but that looks super fun but wait uh, wouldn't we you know uh die from fall damage we need a way to like glide in wait why don't we build a pool in the backyard and, oh yeah actually we could do that i've always wanted to have a pool uh, so here i guess what we could do is just uh first thing we should probably do is set this entire floor to some quartz because you know pools are like made out of quartz for some reason i don't know why uh, yeah that's kind of weird that you say that most pools that i know are made of quartz yeah it's interesting i guess quartz are just like a really good pool material but here what we need to do is just set all of the walls into some quartz just like that boom there we go and then we have to set the inside into some water so let's just select this and then run the command slash slash set water boom there we go and nice that is looking sick and now we have like a safe place to land when we hit the tnt cannon so let me try this again i hit the button boom here we go good luck dash prepare for takeoff and whoa okay i went way higher that time and here we go i have this nice big landing platform and splash down let's go too easy oh i can do that too and yeah, yeah here let's see how high you go here we go this is about to be crazy get ready okay 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 and here now you just gotta land in the pool and let's go but wait guys we should probably build another one of those cannons on the inside so we can get out yeah that'd be nice uh, i'm just gonna decorate the pool a little bit here make a little nice little beach area you're gonna decorate we have to security and yeah we can't what are you doing come on we can't get distracted here let me select this cannon over here with the wand and i'm just gonna go in over here and run the command slash slash copy and then we can go inside of the house over here and you know what get these lawn chairs out of here we do not leave lawn chairs right now what we need next to the pool is a big tnt cannon yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, well, can you at least leave mine? Uh, okay, I guess we can leave one lawn chair there. But uh, here, we should probably also build like a little pool on the outside so that we can land outside if we need to. So let me just select this area and set it to water. This pool doesn't need to look as nice because it's going to be on the outside of the house. But yeah, this should work. Wait, it's smaller. It's going to be harder to land. And hmm, yeah, you're right. Uh, here, I can make it a little bit bigger like uh, this. There we go. That should be fine. I guess so. I'll try it out. And yeah, yeah, here, test it out. I guess we'll see if it's big enough to be able to land in. Hi. And here we go. Come on, you got this. You got to land into the water. And Oh, yeah, that looked like no problem. I almost didn't make it. It should be fine. Alrighty, so now we have a way to get in and get out. What's next? Well, hmm, I think the next thing we should build is probably like another layer of security outside over here. That way, it's going to be hard for Weird Strict Dad to get inside of our TNT cannon. Because right now, our TNT cannon to get inside of the base is kind of just like out in the open right here. So anyone can just like break in. Oh, that is true. But what do we do? Well, what about a pit of spikes? Wait, a pit of spikes? I like that idea. Yeah, wait, what we can do is just like dig out another pit around our entire house, like outside of the lava wall and everything. And that could stop anyone from trying to get in. Ooh, that sounds good. I just don't want to blow it up. And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. We got to build it like kind of close to the wall because we don't want to have it like uh, out here where the TNT is blowing up. Well, that's fine. We can just do it really close to the wall. What we could do is just uh, start digging out over here. Yeah, this could be good. Uh, why don't we just use our magic wand? And let me just set this area to air. Boom. There we go. And yeah, we should just like have this go around the entire house. All right, well, let's just make this look perfect. Yep. So here, let's just dig out this basic perimeter around the entire house. Boom. There we go. That is looking nice. And now we just have to make this like a pit. So let's just make it go like a lot deeper. Yeah, so we can fall in and never get out. Exactly. And then we're going to have spikes at the bottom. And yep, this should look awesome. Here, let's set this to air. And then let me just run the command slash slash stack uh, 10. There we go. I think that should be deep enough. And oh, yeah, I'll start putting the spikes down at the bottom. And all right, all right. Sounds good here. I'm just going to continue digging out this area. I need to go over here in this corner. Don't worry. I got it. Let me just do one of these. Boom. And oh, nice, nice. And wait, what the? What is? Is this stuff over here? Wait, uh, guys, I just found some green goo. Is this ooze? What is this? And 
It gives me penetration. What the penetration? Uh, that's kind of weird. Okay, we should probably get rid of this. I don't think I really want this on my property. Whoa, whoa, Kim, are you all right? Whoa, there was a hole. Uh, what the? Okay, let's get rid of this. I don't think we should uh, have this here. Is Cam okay? Yeah, he's all right now, but whoa, these spikes are looking awesome. All right, here. I'll start helping you place them down. We can just place them down over here and then select them. And then, of course, we can run the command slash slash stack up 40. Boom, there we go. Actually, we can make it go even further. Oh, wait, you're, oh, you're faster than I am. Yep, got it. Use the magic wand, it's so fast. All right, well, I've done this side. All right, sounds good here. I'm almost done with this side. I just need to stack it a few more times. There we go. Boom. And okay, now I think we have like this entire pit of spikes going around the house. Let's go. This looks awesome. But wait, how do we actually like get them to fall into the hole? Because it's kind of you know obvious right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. I would never walk into this. And yeah, you're right. It's kind of easy to jump over as well. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's this one thing called the grass covering. What we could do is just cover up this entire thing with a bunch of this stuff. And pretty much what this stuff is, it looks like like normal grass from the outside, but you can actually fall right through it. Wait, it looks super natural. Yeah, this looks great, but we gotta be careful. We can't fall in ourselves. Yeah, hold on. How are we gonna know uh, the, which ones are the fake grass and which ones are the real grass? Um, maybe we can plant some flowers around it? And Oh, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Well, I'll go ahead and put all the flowers down. And all right, sounds good here. I'll just continue putting down all the grass. Let me select this and then run slash slash stack. Boom, there we go. I think that should be far enough. Oh, the, hold on. I think I went a little bit too far. Let me fill in this area with some normal grass. Boom, there we go. And there we go. I just use commands. And nice. Let's go. And wait a minute. Hold on. I just realized when you go really far, you can kind of see which ones are the fake grass and which ones are the real grass. But when you're up close, you cannot tell a difference. It literally just looks the same. Oh, yeah. It looks the exact same. I can't even tell from right here from where I'm planning. And ooh, all right. I see what you're doing with the flowers. This looks pretty good. We can like easily tell which ones are like the fake and real ones. And hold on. I I'm gonna try jumping over it real quick. Let's see. Can I jump over it? And let's go. I made it across without stepping on the trap. All righty. Then we're gonna be super safe in no time. Let's go. But wait, guys, we have this trap now, but how are we gonna know when people fall into it? Oh, wait, that's a good question. <gasps> wait a minute. What we could do is use some trip wires to like detect when they fall in and then we can grab some alarms and we can put these alarms inside of the house and have them activate whenever the trip wires activate. Oh, that's a good idea. That way we know. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get started on this. Uh, where are we putting these trip wires? And uh, here, I guess I'll just put them inside of the pit and okay, I'm just gonna go inside of the pit over here a little bit. There we go. And, uh, okay, we need to put trip wires around the entire pit. How are we gonna do this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, be careful. My head hit some of the coverings and got rid of them. I mean, I guess we just have to put it everywhere, right? And, uh, I guess so. Uh, so here we can have, like, the trip wires going like that, and then we also need to grab some string, and then we can have, like, the string in between. And now we just have to build this thing up everywhere around the entire pit. This should work, I think. Yeah. Let's just use commands. This would be so much faster. And, yeah, definitely. Let's just select all of this, and then look over here and run the command slash slash stack boom there we go and whoa okay that is actually perfect whoa wait it's so satisfying just running through all of it at once yeah i hear the sound awesome but here what we need to do now is just continue putting all of these tripwire hooks everywhere on the walls well alrighty i'll just keep on putting these tripwires down and awesome all right here i'm doing the same we just gotta continue slash slash stacking all of these tripwires and then we gotta do the same over here on this side really quick so boom there we go and all right this side is all set up i'm pretty sure oh wait actually i need to slash slash stack this a little bit farther. Boom. There we go. That's looking pretty good. You guys are doing it like that. I'm putting them in the walls. And oh, uh, I guess that works. It doesn't really make a difference. Let's just put these all around the entire spike pit. And okay, I think we have them all around the entire spike pit. Now let's go. Uh, yeah, this sounds so satisfying just to run through. And, oh, wait, actually, hold on. Wait, we need to put some over here. We don't have any here. I just realized. Let's just do that. And there we go. And oh, I did it a little bit too far. Let's uh, put some blocks over here and fix that up. There we go. And, okay, now I think we have trip wire hooks literally everywhere inside of the trap. It is so satisfying. Now we just gotta add the redstone. And yep, that's right. What we need to do now is uh, just go inside over here. We need to go like right next to the trip wire hooks and then yeah, right over here. And then we need to grab some repeaters and pretty much what this will do is whenever we go through the trip wire hook, it'll activate the repeaters and then we have to have the repeaters go into an alarm and uh, what just happened? Oh gosh, what is going on? Wait, what happened here? I think I may have ran the wrong command. And oh gosh, oh gosh, wait, uh, hold on. This is gonna be tough. We have to make this go underneath our lava moat. Mm. 
that's gonna be tough to deal with. Um, let's just put repeaters next to the trip wires first. And yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Let's just put these repeaters going all around over here. In fact, what we can do is just slash slash stack them. So let's just do slash slash stack uh 40. There we go. In fact, I need to do a little bit more. Let me do slash slash stack 70. Boom. And oh, the, hold on, that was a little bit too far. Let me repair this really quick. All right, well, I got the repeaters for this side. And awesome, sounds good. I'm doing it right over here on this side. There we go. And oh gosh, wait, I broke into the wall again. Let me break these and just put another tripwire hook over here. There we go. You need to be more careful. And there we go. Nice. There we go. Now they all have repeaters. Now what we need to do, we should probably uh, clear us a little bit more space over here. Uh, yeah, about that. Wait, let's just try clearing this out. And Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, I see what you meant. Okay, let's slash slash undo that. How are we going to do this? We could just have the redstone go underneath the pool. And oh, oh, yeah, actually, I guess we could do that. Let's just have the redstone go underneath like this. It's going to be a little bit more annoying to build since we can't see it. And Oh, wait, what, what happened? Oh, did you just move the pool up? That actually works. Uh, yeah, and uh, you just got rid of all the redstone again. And, okay, hold on. Let me, let's put this back. You guys okay over there? Do you need help? And no, no, no. We're all good. We're just putting all the redstone down over here. Let me clear out all of this over here. Boom. And then let's just continue putting down all this redstone. All right, I'm doing the same on this side. Awesome. Sounds good. Let's just continue putting down all of this redstone. And oh, oh are you setting it to redstone with commands? Nice. All right, now all the repeaters are connected with the redstone. But hold on. We have to do the same on this side. So let's just go all the way over here and Run the command slash slash set redstone. Let's do the same over here. Boom. And then also over here. Nice looking good. And whoa, wait, we have so much space down here. Yeah, we've got plenty of room for this. But uh, yeah, now we need to route it to the alarm underneath our base. And okay, this is going to be tough. But oh, wait, what we could do is literally just like set all of this floor to redstone. Uh, I think we have enough room for this. Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, actually, uh, we should probably move the floor down one so we have a little bit more room. Yeah, this is a little claustrophobic. And uh, wait, actually. Actually, hold on. That's probably a good idea. We can move the floor down one block. Let's just uh, select this and then run the command slash slash set air. And oh, wait, uh, guys, our, our pool is kind of messing with this, but actually it's fine. We can just like put the walls of the pool back. It shouldn't mess with the pool. It should be fine. Yeah, I think it looks kind of cool, actually. And then what we can do is just replace all the air down here with some redstone. Boom. There we go. And look, now all of the things are connected. Now all we have to do is just make one of these redstones go to an alarm inside of the house. And yes, the house is right over here. Let's put down the alarm at the right over here in the center of the house. Yeah. All right. And then we could just like make a little pyramid here for the redstone to travel up. Yep. So let's just have that. And then the redstone can be right over here. And I think this should work. But we also do have to add some repeaters. So uh, let's just add a bunch of repeaters randomly. Yeah, you're right. Let's just put like a bunch of random repeaters over here. I don't even know where we have to put these. Let's just like put a bunch of them everywhere to make sure that the redstone signal can actually get across. It also doesn't even matter what position they're facing because like there's just a giant square. And exactly. Yeah. This is a lot of redstone stone guys wait ruby can you try activating the tripwire hooks for a second so that we can see where the redstone needs to go oh sure i can do that and yeah, yeah just like go inside of any of the tripwire hooks and then we can get an idea for if the redstone is like making it far enough okay tell me when you're ready and all right all right go for it all and i'm going no and all right here we go whoa okay uh I think that worked. That all turned on all at once, but wait, hold on. Is the alarm going now? And wait, what, why isn't the alarm going? And oh, wait, actually, hold on. I think I know the issue. Let's try putting the alarm like that. And, there we go. That works. Oh, it sounds awesome. But wait, hold on. Now we have to clear this. So uh, what we should do is just uh, select this position over here and let's go all the way over here in the other corner. And now uh, wait, Ruby, you can go out of the tripwire hook now. Okay, I already am. I'm not in them anymore. Awesome. So here, let's just replace all the redstone with air now, and then we can run another command to replace place all the air with some fresh redstone. There we go. And nice. Now the trap is deactivated. Next time someone falls through the trap, all of the redstone should activate. And so will the alarm. It is actually perfect. All right. Well, we got to be careful now because that alarm is loud. And, yeah. And also, I don't want to reset all that redstone. That takes so long to reset it each time. Yeah, but it'll definitely be worth it. Now we know when Weird Strict Dad breaks into our house. And yep, exactly. But anyways, is all the grass covered up now? We got to make sure everything looks natural. And uh, we should probably get rid of these uh, TNT cannon holes in the floor. We don't want Weird Strict Dad getting too scared before he tries breaking into our house. Yeah, I hope he didn't hear all those explosions. I yeah, hopefully he wasn't spying on us again, so let's just fill in all of these holes. Boom! There we go, and okay, nice. I think the spike pit is complete. Well, we've got a lot of defenses on the outside, but I think we need some defenses on the inside. And ooh, yeah, 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 you're right. We've kind of been lacking on, like, inside of the walls. What are we building here? Anyone got any ideas? Ooh, what if we get some guards here? And, oh, whoa, wait, guards? That's actually a really good idea, but wait, uh, what could we do for the guards? Like, dogs, maybe? Wait, what about some cats and wait what cats i don't think these guys can do a lot of damage what? 
They're so cute, though. Yeah, I won't lie. They are cute. But uh, come on, we need something to protect us. Not, uh, you know, look furry and friendly. But uh, what about we make ourselves some diamond golems? Whoa, what the heck is this? That's a diamond golem. He literally just said so. Okay, wait, hold on. Is this guy, like, good? Uh, how strong is he? We should probably test him out against, like, a zombie. Oh, he's very strong. Check this out. I have a zombie right here. Uh, he's going to go flying. Whoa, he just one-shotted it. Okay, okay. Well, you know, zombie is pretty easy. But what about a wither skeleton? This is, like, the next step up from a zombie. Can this guy one shot a wither skeleton? Here we go. And he two shotted it. Two shots kind of good. And wait, why is he taking so much damage? Yeah, wait, I think the wither gave him the wither effect. Hold on. Wait, if we can spawn diamond golems, can we spawn other types of golems? <gasps> wait a minute. Hold on. What about obsidian golems? Wait, we need to test this out. Uh, try putting one of those pumpkins on top of this. All right, let's try it out. And <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, well, here, let's see if this guy can one shot the wither skeleton. So here we go. Come on, please one shot it. And oh, wait, it actually one shot it. Oh my gosh. If we can do it, I'm sitting and Gollum. That gives me an idea for an even stronger golem. And wait, 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 what are you thinking? I think you know where I'm going with this. We're going to try a bedrock golem. Let's see. And oh, it didn't work. I guess it is too OP. Let me see. Is there a spawn egg for it? And oh my gosh, there is. Let's see. What does this look and, like? Whoa! Wait, hold on. Why does his face look so derpy like that? What is this? Well, I think he's kind of cute. I guess he's all bronze and no brains. Oh, all right. Well, I guess let's see how strong he is. Let's see. Uh, this guy should be able to take out two wither skeletons at once. And whoa. Okay, this guy can definitely take out wither skeletons. We definitely need lots of these guys guarding our house. Did you see that? The wither skeleton tried to hit it and it didn't take any damage. And Wait, wait, hold on. Is this guy, like, invincible? Let's try this out. And oh, my gosh. Wait, he doesn't even take any damage. He must have, like, a lot of health. And whoa, he's not even taking any damage to the lava wall. You know what? Uh, we definitely need some of these. Uh, here, I'll give you one of these. And uh, here, I'll give you one of these. Oh, heck yes. I have my own guard. Well, let's go. Same here, guys. We all have our own bedrock golem guards now. But wait, I want to name mine. Let me grab a name tag really quick. And and anvil. And hmm, what should I name this guy? I don't know. It's your guard. You got to name it. Oh, I know what. I'm naming mine. And all right. I'm going to name mine. Uh, I'm going to name him. Big Rick. Yeah, there we go. Big Rick. Because he's big and his name is going to be Rick. Hey, where'd Big Rick go? Hold on. Wait, which one of these is Big Rick? And wait, Mr. Flintstone, is this your golem? Yeah, this is mine. And, all right, I'm going to name mine over here. Big Rick, let's go. And there we go. I named mine Liz. Short for lizard. Wait, why do you name them after a lizard? They're, they're not a lizard. Because she's that cool. All right. But anyways, now that we have all of these guards here, they are looking awesome. But wait, hold on. Uh, uh, Cam, I think your guy's kind of going in the lava. We should probably just like push him out. Maybe we should build like a little border around the lava just to make sure that these guys don't like go in there and get themselves stuck. No, I think my golem gets mad whenever it's pushed out of the lava, but it's calm whenever it's in the lava. Look at how mad it looks. Oh, huh, yeah, that is kind of weird. And yeah, look, he's all chilling in the lava now. Okay, uh, I think we should definitely uh, just like build a border around the lava because they can't be chilling in the lava. They have to be protecting us from weird strict dad when he gets here. So here, let me grab a wand and let me just go in this corner and select this position. And guys, check it out. I've got a really good idea. What we can do is just go all the way over here and select the second position and run the command slash slash walls glass. Boom. There we go. That is looking sick. No, Mr. Flintstone. Oh, I, I think he kind of got trapped behind the wall. Hold on. Wait, we, we can break him out. Let's just break these over here and... uh. uh uh, the Mr. Flintstone, you gotta go back in. He seems pretty calm now. Maybe he's done taking a shower. All right, there we go. Uh, hurry, block it up. Uh, here, I'm blocking it off. I'm blocking it off. There we go. All right, perfect. He's throwing a temper tantrum, but he'll get over it. All right, all right. But anyways, now that we got bodyguards, what do we add next? Maybe a way that we can protect ourselves. Wait a minute, like an armory room? That sounds like a great idea. Okay, uh, guys, we should probably build that inside of the house. Uh, I guess we should probably cover up this alarm first. And uh, wait, where should we build the armory room? Upstairs could work, maybe. Yeah, let's get rid of this toilet. And, what, dude? That was my toilet. Why'd you break it? It is in a bad spot, Dash. Literally, there's windows here, 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 and here. Everyone can see the toilet. And you head in the middle of the room. Yeah, but I ran out of blocks. I couldn't build a whole room for it. That would be way too expensive. Who poops in the middle of the room? I do. Okay, I was going to live in this house alone. No one was going to see me. What if you have friends over? What happens? Uh, well, then I just won't poop. If you can hold poops in while your friends are over, that's kind of bad. Dude, what do you guys think I've been doing this whole time? Um, why don't we start building now? Yeah, okay, let's just start building the armor room. I'm going to grab some smooth stone. And uh, here, we can have, like, armor stands over here on the walls. We can just have, uh, there's three of us. So we can have one, two, three. Boom, there we go. Uh, dip's on the middle one, because this one's bigger. Okay, I guess I'll get the right one then. Uh, let me try and find some good armor. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I'm going to go with the shadow 
purple armor? This stuff looks sick. It's like purple armor. I I'm going with the lucky armor. Check it out. Whoa, wait, you got like a big lucky thing in the middle. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna grab an armor stand as well. And in fact, I'm gonna grab two and just put them down right over here. And boom, there we go. I have all of my shadow armor right down over here. Why'd you give yourself two? Uh, because I'm so big and buff that I need two sets because one set isn't just gonna fit me. Well, anyways, I'm gonna put down my pink armor now. And whoa, that armor looks pretty sick. But anyways, yeah, we should also put down some chests next to our armor stuff. So here, I'm just gonna put down uh, two chests over here on each side. And let's see, this is where we can put our weapons and stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. What kind of weapons are you gonna get? Ooh, let's see, let's see. There's a lot of swords. And wait, hold on. Is there something called the shadow sword? And <gasps> whoa, wait, there is. Okay, this thing looks sick. It says that it blinds your target. Wait, hold on. I wanna test this out. Wait, Ruby, do you have blindness now? Oh, wait, why can't I see anything? Oh, okay, I think it definitely works. All right, I'm gonna put these inside of the chest. Let's go! There's so many good options. I could go with the lightsaber. I could go with the star sword. I could go with the star bow. I'm doing them all. That stuff looks pretty crazy, especially that lightsaber. And all right, we should probably also have some other stuff in our chest. So let's see, what else are we gonna need? We should probably get like some sort of like healing item. So maybe some enchanted golden apples. Let's chuck those in. I'm gonna get a bow. And oh yeah, yeah, a bow would be really OP. And wait a minute, hold on, uh, Ruby, I found something just for you. It's called the Ruby Lucky Bow. The Ruby Lucky Bow, give that to me. And wait, hold on, I need to find a bow for myself. Is there such thing as a dash bow? And uh, okay, it doesn't look like it. Whoa, wait, longbow of the heavens? Okay, this one looks pretty OP. Yeah, I'll go with this. Oh, yeah, I already have that. And check out this. I got some custom arrows called Arrows of Thundering. I'm pretty sure it summons lightning. Arrows of Thundering? What the? Okay, wait, hold on. We gotta test this out right now. I have never seen lightning arrows before. Okay, hold on. Try just shooting it at uh, over here. Uh, all right, and uh, I'm shooting it and... I think the bow, like, conflicts with it. Hold on, let me get a better bow. Wait, what? It does? Hold on, let me try this out. And Whoa, look at that! The longbow of the heavens, it shoots up the arrows from the sky. That's actually OP! Uh, here, let me try it with a normal bow. Let's see, what does this do? And, oh my gosh, it worked! That looks awesome! Whoa, that's crazy! Wait, give me another zombie. Uh, okay. Let's see if this does anything. Here's my lucky and, oh, bow. Oh, wait, yeah, right, you have your ruby lucky bow. And, whoa, wait, I think it shot multiple arrows that time. But wait, hold on, uh, try spawning in another zombie. I think it has, like, special abilities. Special abilities? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Just keep doing it and <gasps> whoa! Uh, special abilities like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, it took so many shots to get there, though. Wait, what about this lucky bow? Uh, let me try this one and oh, that just shoots lava? What the heck? Whoa! What? That one just shot like an asteroid. Okay, well, I guess these lucky bows have like a different ability each time. But guys, we should probably clean this up. Let me grab a wand again and let's just uh, clean all of this up. Because remember, we cannot have weird strict dad looking at this before he tries to come to our house. Uh, yeah, let me just clear all of this away. And I'll put up the fire. All right, all right, sounds good. Here, let me set this floor to some grass. Boom, there we go. But anyways, I think I'm gonna stick to the long bow of the heavens. This thing over here looks pretty crazy. Look at that. It literally makes arrows rain from the sky. So uh, here, I'm just gonna go and put this inside of my chest. There we go. And, and also, guys, don't forget to grab some arrows. I'm gonna grab some of these arrows and put those right alongside the bows. And boom, there we go. My chest is fully complete. Here, I'm gonna copy this chest and just put the exact same thing over here on this side. And there we go. Now I am super geared up. My armor is complete. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta give myself some tools, and I am finished. I'm gonna give myself some arrows, and I am done now. Let's go! That means our armory rooms are complete. But anyways, guys, our house is pretty protected right now, but is there any last things that we can build? Wait, guys, what about an escape route? Wait a minute. Actually, yeah, an escape route. That's a good idea. Just in case Weird Strict Dad breaks into our house, and we can't kick him out or anything. All right, well, what type of escape route were you thinking? Um, I guess something to fly away in. <gasps> I've got the perfect idea. What's your idea? I just need one of these, and... I need a ceiling fan. Let me grab one of these. And wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? I need iron and then an engine. What? What? Wait, an engine? Wait, what are you building? And let me put this here. And then let me put this here. And then let me hit craft. And there we go. And let's see. Uh, oh my gosh, it worked! Ooh. Did you just combine a couch and a ceiling fan? Yes, I did. And now I have a sofa copter. Check it out! And wait, no way this thing actually flies. What in the... What? Uh, of course it does. This is gonna be perfect. And... Uh, Okay, I guess we can use this for our escape route, but guys, we should probably build like a little uh, escape uh, helicopter landing platform and stuff where we could like park these things. So where should we put them in? Oh, uh, guys, I, I I think Big Rick over here can't swim. He looks like he's panicking in the water. Oh gosh, we gotta get him out. Come on. Don't worry, the rescue helicopter's here. And oh no, no, wait, he's sinking. Come on, come on. I need to drain all this. Slash, slash, drain. 50. There we go. And okay, uh, guys, we can't have water in our pool anymore. Here comes the rescue helicopter to save and, the whoa, day. What the? Okay, actually, that worked. Let me undo the water. 
There we go. The water's back. Our pool now has water again. Let's go. Let's go. Our pool pools. Well, guys, why don't we start building the helipad um right over here? Oh, all right. I guess we can build it here. Let's just build the platform like this. And we got to build like a triple helipad since there's three of us. So uh, we got to make it like extra long. Uh, yeah. And we've got to use the best color for the H. And let me refuel these over here while you guys do And it. Oh, wait. You're refueling them? All right. Sounds good good in here. Yeah, this is the longest helipad I've ever seen. And boom, there we go. The helipad is done. And wow, that's a one big helipad. Here, now what we have to do is just land all of our helicopters onto the helipad so everyone hop in and we just gotta park it over. Alrighty, I'm bringing mine over. Awesome. And here, let's just land them down over here. Boom, there we go. Awesome. Now we have a helicopter takeoff station just in case, uh, you know, we need to escape or anything. And alright, I think that's everything we need for our house. And yeah, that should be about it. And uh, wait, guys, did you hear that? Why was there just lightning in the middle of of the day. I don't know, but I'm scared. Wait, we should check on the weird strike dad guy in a uh Wait, why is he just standing there weirdly? Uh, oh wait, guys, I, I think it's time. Uh, we should probably head for our armor. Wait, why are we in survival uh, now? Guys, uh, he is approaching very rapidly. Quick to the armory, go, go, go! I already have my armor on, dude. Uh, you didn't? I forgot, come on, come on. I need to grab all of my armor. Let me just grab some of this shadow armor really quick. And let me grab a weapon and a sword and a bow and some arrows. And uh, Wait, hold on, uh, do you guys hear that? I think we have strict dad is inside of our spike pit. <gasps> That's so good, come on, let's go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, all right, the alarm is activated. Come on, come on, we gotta go. Let's see, where is he at? Wait, I think I see where he went in through. Wait, okay, that's definitely where he went in through. All right, let's just go over here and wait, is this real grass or fake grass? Okay, that's real grass and oh, there he is, take this! Oh, he's here, I'm gonna shoot him. And come on, come on, let's just keep using our bows on him. Take this, we are shirked at him. Whoa, wait, someone's bow just blew up. I think I did that, I think my bow exploded him. Uh, guys, he's got blocks, uh, he's building up. Okay, we should probably get to the next position. Quick, go, 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 we need to go activate our TNT cannons or something. Go, 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 go. And, okay, wait, you guys go to the TNT cannons. I'll try to lure weird strict dad over like in front of them so he can be the target and hey, Weird Strike Dad, come here. And oh gosh, guys, come on, get to the TNT cannons quick. I'm here. Quick, 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 activate them. Oh gosh, he is right next to me. This guy looks very terrifying. I will, I'm ready. I'm flicking it in three, two, one. And go, 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 come on. Ah, oh, Weird Strike Dad is doing a lot of damage. And come on, I just gotta get out of here now. Take this, Weird Strike Dad. Come on, let's go. And uh, guys, uh, that was kind of a miss. I gotta lure him in the spot again. Oh, I'm flicking it again. Go, 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 go. Come on, Weird Strike Dad. Just uh, go over here in this hole. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Oh gosh, I gotta back off. And dude, only one of them hit him. You gotta lure him into the middle. And, oh gosh, there's gonna be tough. I don't wanna get cornered down there with him. And ah, oh, why'd you do it again? I wasn't even ready. Oh, well, I thought you were ready. I'm just gonna keep firing them until it hits them. What? No, stop, stop, stop. I need to lure him in place first before you fire it. Wait, Dash, I have some ender pearls. Take these. And wait, you have ender pearls. Oh, wait, that's perfect. All right, here, let me just come grab these really quick. There we go. And all right, now I can lure him into the pit and then teleport out. Hey, come here, weird strict dad. I'm firing, get ready. And what? No, not yet. I'm still inside of the pit. Come on, come on, ender pearl, please land. And Whoa! Okay, that was really close. And wait, is he still in the pit? And yes, he is! Can't fire it again! Go, 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 go! All right, I'm firing! Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, here we go! This should do a lot of damage! Let's go! I'm backing off and Wait, did we get him? Wait, I don't see him anymore from over here. Do you see him? Wait, hold on. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere down here either. Wait, is he hiding anywhere? And wait, no, guys, I, I think we got him! Let's go! What? Was that easy? Uh, guys, I don't think we got rid of him. What is that? What in the world? And, uh, guys, is he spawning babies of himself? Oh, God! Oh, gosh, I, I, guys, let me back in the house. I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Out of the bag. And, oh, yeah, wait, I can use these ender pearls here. I'm tossing one inside of the house. Let's go. And, okay, I'm in. Oh, I'm inside of the TNT cannon. And, oh, my gosh, that thing is ginormous. I'm scared. He's so close. He's so close. Oh, wait, that gives me an idea. Oh, my gosh, wait, I'm just going to use my bow on him. Come on, take this. You're a little too close, buddy. How about you back off with some TNT? And, oh, gosh, wait, Kim, I don't think the TNT is hitting him. And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, he's spawning minions of himself. But, wait, <laughs> they're all falling into the spike pit. Wait, I think he's covering up the spike pit with real blocks. And oh wait, look, <laughs> now they're all falling into our lava wall. This is too easy. And wait, what, where did the lava go? Uh, wait, guys, he just drank it. Wait, he drank the lava? Wait. Oh my gosh, uh, this guy's more powerful than I thought. Um, I think he's building something. Guys, he's breaking into our house. What do we do? Come on, everyone, just use our bows on him. Take this. And oh no, the bows are no home. I'm trying, but I can't hit him. Oh, the golems, the golems are getting him. And wait, wait, come on, come on, golems, you guys got this. Come on, Big Rick. And no, Big Rick is stuck in cobwebs. I gotta break him out. And, oh gosh, uh, guys, uh, do we have a problem? He's inside of the base. Oh, gosh. Mr. Flintstone, get him. And oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He keeps following these baby versions of this stuff. Come on. Come on. We got to take all of these out. And ow, but he does so much damage. I'm eating a gapple. Um, guys, I don't think we stand a chance anymore. They broke all the redstone. What is going on? Help. I fell in a hole. 
There are so many of them. Wait, hold on. Can I use my bow on these guys? Take this. Come on. Why isn't my bow one-shotting them? No, now the golems are stuck oh, down here. Oh, my gosh. This is very bad. This is very bad. Okay, hold on. I just need to build myself up. Where is the big one at? Where'd the main one go? Oh, he's up here. He's spawning more minions. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm stuck down here in the redstone area. Here we go. I'm coming through the pool. There's so many minions. Oh, my gosh. This is actually horrible, guys. What do we do? Uh, wait. I think it's time to get out of here. I think we need to escape now. And oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is it really time? All right, real quick. Everyone hop in your helicopters before it's too late. Go, go, go. Go. And oh my gosh, why are the helicopters so slow? Come on, come on, just take off. Come on, let's go. And oh my gosh, we made it. We made it. Let's move. Let's get out of here. I told you this place wasn't safe. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to move to a different neighborhood. Let's get out of here. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.